Hi, and welcome to Nishcraft. My name is Cassie, and I'm your host, and today is another Mystery Monday. I don't know about you, but this is one of my favorite days on the channel. So today, I have another Hershers yarn order. They're all mystery boxes, okay, or mystery packs, mystery grab bags, I think is what they call them. And I've ordered an assortment of them, not just what I have shown you previously. So, I'm gonna open this box, and oh my goodness, look at this. I'm so glad that they included, look at all this stuff that they've included. They have a We Love Yarn Sale, and Hershner's Sensational Sale. We've got the Premier Yarns Collection. Hershner Presents Lion Brand Yarns Catalog, Hershner's, they also have puzzles, they have jigsaw puzzles, which I, I love, and they have mystery jigsaw puzzle boxes. Maybe I'll order one of those sometime. Okay, so, what did I get? Um, I ended up getting a, hmm, I got a Premier Home Cotton Value Pack for $6.96. I got uh, um, a worsted weight 28 ounce package for $14.99 and I got, well I got two of those. I got two of the Willow Wool, Wool Blends grab bags and that's $14.99 and I got one 14 ounce sock yarn pack for $12.99 and these are all like, all of these I don't know what they're going to look like. I just know that, they're, that they added them. So. Anyway, the total for that was $79.91, and the shipping and handling was $14.99, and the tax was $5.81. That applies to Arkansas, I, I believe. It might be, actually it might be in the state of origin. But anyway, I had a discount code. It doesn't say the code that I used on this, but you can always search for discount codes on Google and you'll find them. Um, or you can install like that honey coupon thing. That always works for me. I, I'm always finding at least some savings there. So the total amount of this order was $88.72. Okay, so that's what I got. And what's really great about Hershner's is they do include a returns and exchange form, which I think is really nice. Um, I am, I, you know, I mean, to, I keep meaning to check, but I have not checked whether or not you can return mystery boxes. But, um, it's really nice that they do that, I think. So, I see some familiar things from the Willow Yarns. So, I'm, I'm just going to start with this. Okay, so the Willow Yarns. This is one of my mystery packs. So, you can see that I have... Um, I've, I've actually gotten this exact mystery pack before. I have two of Willow Burrow's Bulky Weight in this light pink color. Okay. Two of the Willow Burrow's um, Bulky Weight in this brown color. And two of the Willow Bulky Weight in this beautiful yellow color. You know how much I love yellow. And then we have two Willow Wheels and these are in foliage. That's the name of it. And I love this. I love this. You guys know how much I love this. And it also comes with a pattern for this cowl. And that is a crochet pattern. So that's what you get. And this is $14.99. $14.99. And I think it get, you get your money's worth. Right. This is not going to take it out of the plastic because I'll probably put those into giveaways or one of my um, one of my mystery boxes on Etsy. So be sure to check those out. And then I have another thing. Okay, so here's another one. And I got three of them in Peacock. Two more in that fall foliage. I think it's actually just called foliage. Fo foliage. <laughs> I always mispronounce it. Um, and this is a really, really great... I mean, seriously, I love it. And then, of course, we get the same. Sometimes they give you different patterns. Sometimes they give you the same ones. Just depends. 
then we get the same cowl pattern. So those, so all of that together, and seriously, it's really, really good deal. I'm getting down. The, all of this together is is um, thirty dollars together. Okay, that's a lot for for thirty dollars. So I would definitely, definitely recommend the um, the willow yarns. Um, a sort like I think it's called like the oh, what's it called? I'll look at it. It's called the grab bag, okay? The the wool, the wool, willow wool yarns grab bag. And I mean, it's, I always get stuff that I love. I love what I got. So let's see what this is. This is really pretty stuff. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to assume that this is my acrylic. Let's see. Yes. That's one of my acrylics and this is my other acrylic. Okay, so I'm going to start with opening this acrylic so I can show you what I got. Oh my goodness, and it comes with this. Okay, so it comes with, I, I don't want to open it yet. It comes with this pattern. Really, really pretty pattern. It's called the Granny Pullover. Gosh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. I'd love to make that too. And it's crochet. It's a crochet pattern. So, the first thing that I'm seeing in here is really pretty. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Look at this cake. It's Hershey's... <laughs> Hershner's Pastry Puff Yarn. And that is so pretty. Look at those colors. Wow. And it pulls from the front. There's a little pull string right there. This is in the color Rhubarb. Wow, this is so pretty. The color number is nine. I've probably got to order more of these pastry puff yarns because this is, I love the colors, how they blend the colors together. I think that those colors are really pretty. This could make such a great, almost anything. And I got three of those. Okay. And then I got a three pack of this Red Heart. Oh, the Red Heart Unforgettable. This is so pretty and it's so, in fact, I, I got three of this color, which is, let's see if I can see what the color name is here. Mm. I can't see underneath it and see if I can see from here. Oh, I think it's in Polo. Yeah, so this one is, is the Red Heart Unforgettable in Polo, and this is a Red Heart Unforgettable in Parrot. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, and it's so soft. It's comparable, but not exactly like Lion Landscapes, in that it's got that kind of shine to it. Um, the Landscapes is softer in a different way, because I don't want to say this isn't soft, because it is. But this is just, this is beautiful. Wow, look at that. And this is a 3.5 ounce, 100 gram skein for with 270 yards or 246 meters. It is a weight four, medium weight four. And it suggests using a J hook. And for my knitters, um, it suggests using an eight or a five millimeter um, knitting needle. Oh, that's pretty. It's got some fluff on it. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and open this up too. I'll just take one out. Oh, and these are beautiful. And oh, look at this. Be oh, these are really, really beautiful. I'm glad I opened it up. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's like got that rust color and this kind of like maroon slash plum color, this olive green, and then also like that darker, maybe like jungle or hunter green. Even has some browns in it, and some yellows. Oh, that is so gorgeous. That is so beautiful. I love that. I bet this would make a really good blanket. I know that it's not really the 
yardage that you'd want to make a blanket because you'd have to order a whole bunch of them. But still, I mean, this would make a really stunning blanket if you did it in a really, um, you could do it in a simple stitch or a really decorative stitch and it would look beautiful either way. Um, but yeah, so this is, um, again, 20, 270 yards or 246 meters. In this particular um, mystery box, I got three plus one in this color. And in this particular, and then in this particular color, the Hershner's Pastry Puff Yarn, which I'm seriously going to turn around and probably buy, like, today. Um, this is 70% acrylic, 30% wool. So some of the acrylic, um, so some of the acrylic bags also include um, some wool, too. So that's good to know. Um, the weight is 4.9 ounces, or 139 grams. It has 228 yards in it, or 209 meters, and this is a medium weight for the crochet hook it recommends is hmm. H. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like, it was right there in front of me, of course. And for my knitters, that is a size 8. So, yeah, I really love these colors together. Like, this is one of those things that I would have never bought on my own. But now that I see it in person, it's just, it goes together so well. I mean, that's perfect. I love it. I love it getting it surprised by those kinds of things. And, and again, you get this granny pullover. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So now I have my second mystery, mystery box, or mystery bag, mystery grab bag in the acrylics. So I'm going to open this up and show you what I got. Oh, how interesting. It's double wrapped. I typically don't like that. Oh, no, it's not du double wrapped. They just keep them. That's so sweet of them. They keep them wrapped up like that. Nice. Okay, so we have another Red Heart Unforgettable. Oh, this is just this is this gray and black and white. Almost looks like newspaper. Oh, it's so pretty, though. I love it. And this is 3.5 ounces. I mean, it's the same stats. 270 yards, 246 meters. Suggest a J-hook. This is in the color Bistro. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. So, like, you've got these, like, this bright, these bright colors, and then you've got this gray color, and then you've got those autumnal colors, too. This was the only one in the Unforgettable that I got, though, in this particular bag. They also sent me some Red Heart with Love. Um, okay, I don't, oh, it's, I was like, Encantador, I was like, that, why is it, why is it in Spanish? <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's in the color Delightful, and they sent me two of these, all right, and, um, one thing about the Red Heart Acrylics is that they can feel really, um, I mean, they feel, they feel like it's made out of acrylic or a plastic, right? Because that's what acrylic is. But you can soften this up really, really easily um, by following one of my um, tips, um, which is to use liquid um, fabric softener. When, and you use it in the washing machine, okay? When you wash it, you don't use the dryer sheets in the dryer. Just use the liquid fabric softener, and it softens up so much. I mean, it's really amazing how easily it softens up. So if if you've been turned off of Red Heart for whatever reason, and it has to do with being its softness, you might want to try that trick and see if maybe you you like to go back. Because one thing that's really nice about Red Heart is it's been around for a long time, and you so you know it's staying. You know, it's it's one of those companies that. If you were going to buy stocks in it, you'd probably want some in, in Red Heart or in Yarnspirations. It used to be owned by uh, Coates and Clarks before Yarnspirations bought it. Um, you'd probably want this in your portfolio because it's just tried and true and it is just something that a lot of people go back to. And it, I really think that it's really quality yarn. Um, as long as you know that tip about softening it up. Um, and you can save so much money by just purchasing Red Heart yarn instead of all of this, like, you know, all of those really high-end, um, yarn. I mean, 
not that the high end yarn isn't worth it, it's just that Red Heart does have definitely a place in my collection. It has a place in my studio. <laughs> Alright. Um, so yeah, so we've got two, two skeins of this. They are, um, I don't know if all of the Red Heart with Love yarns are this, um, this small, smaller skein. You know, I'm used to seeing the Jumbo yarns, okay? I'm, I'm used to seeing the, what are they called? The Super Savers, <laughs> or the Super Saver Jumbos, which are even bigger. So this looks small to me, but it's probably not. Um, in fact, I will read you... Okay, so it's a uh, medium weight four. Um, the hook size it recommends is K. And, oh yeah, I told you it was in Delightful, but what is the yardage here? Hmm. Just don't know where to look. Oh, 230 yards or 211 meters, so yeah. There's that. I've actually never, you know what, I've, I realize that I've never even worked with the Red Heart with Love. I don't think. And then I got three more of the pastry puff ones, so I am really happy about this. In fact, I'm probably gonna just go ahead and leave this. Oh, it it opens. But I'm probably gonna just leave this in this bag, and I'll probably um, put it in the giveaway coming up. <laughs> because this really does, this is really pretty. Yeah, this looks like something that would be great in the giveaway. So, I'm really, really happy with this yarn so far. The ones that I've opened, I'm going to go ahead and seal up because I don't want them to become contaminated with cat hair. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. And this time we got a Go Team throw. Um... It's an easy, oh okay, it's by Red Heart, um, and this is an easy pattern, and it's a crochet pattern, so yeah, that's cool. All right, so we have two more things left. This is my mystery sock yarn, and I'm actually really happy because look at how, how much of that I got. It has, um, I'm not going to open it, but it has this like kind of glittery um, flex. In fact, you know what? I am going to open it. I was going to not open it just so I could keep it from, uh, from um, my cats. <laughs> but, so yeah. Okay, so this is, it does say that this is 14 ounce sock yarn mill ends. Okay, so it's, it's important to know that. Um, that these are mill ends. Oh, but it's so stunning. Oh, and it's soft too. You know, a sock yarn, it's almost always really, really soft to me anyway. But yeah, this is really pretty. It's got all of those pinks and purples in it. And it's so lightweight. And you don't have to use it for socks. This is because it says for socks. You don't have to use it for socks. You can make a shawl out of this. You can make like, you can make like a lightweight blanket. There's so many things you can do with this. Just because it's labeled says it's sock. Or just because it's labeled shawl and wall. Or whatever it is. Doesn't mean that that's what you have to use it for. But this sure is pretty. I just... <laughs> Here's the funny thing about me, at least I think it's funny. I think it's funny enough to interrupt myself to say this before I go on to the cotton. And that is, I um, cannot, or so far, I have never been able to complete a pair of socks because I always get the first one done and it's like I put so much effort into it that finally I, I look at that second one and I'm like, oh, do I have to? And I just, I don't know what it is, but it's like, I, sh I should just make a really big one the first time so that I can just make like Christmas stockings and because because I I've never finished a pair of socks and maybe I will do that um, on my channel just to give myself a challenge but I'm not ready yet but, <laughs> but I probably will eventually I'm really happy with this though because I got four of these not just three so that's definitely worth it um, let me look at my receipt just so I can remember how much I paid for it. So yeah, that sock weight, that sock yarn is 
14 ounces of suck yarn pack, $12.99, I got four. So, it's a pretty good deal. I like it. Okay, and the last is this grab bag. I didn't know what they were going to send me of this cotton, but I got some Premier cotton in these colors all do match together quite well and I got four of them and this cost me $6.96 so that's about like if, if I was to go out and get some peaches and cream or sugar and cream it would be about the same amount so you'd probably break even if, they, if you'd get a four pack for $6.99 but it is nice to for them to just pick it out for you <laughs> instead of you having to pick it out for yourself and I can always use more white um, it's nice to have some solid colors. In fact, it's nice to have something that's a variegated color and then some solid colors to go with it. Because you can put one stripe of this variegated color into, into a dish rag or, or a, um, towel, kitchen towel. You know, you can have three towels and rags with one stripe of this in it and it would look great. This looks so stunning. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip through all of these little catalogs, and if I think that they're interesting enough, then I will definitely open them and flip through them with you guys on my channel later on. Um, if, if I don't, then just know that it wasn't anything that I thought you guys would be interested in. I'm very, very happy with my order. I still highly, highly recommend those Will Yarns. Um, grab bags. Those are the best. The sock yarn grab bag, I feel like I got a good deal. Um, I don't purchase sock yarn very often though, so I'm not real familiar with the price ranges on that. And that acrylic yarn, I, I got some really, really beautiful yarn in that. And those pastry puffs, I think is what they were called, the Hirschner's ones, I'm definitely going to go back and check those out and see if I can order some in just more colors because they're so pretty. I just love them. So another very, very happy purchase with Hirschner's Mystery Bags. So glad that I could share this with you. I will leave um, a link to Hirschner's in the description and if I, if I can find some kind of coupons or anything, I'll put them there. And remember, I have a giveaway going on so you want to make sure you enter into that so you can win something. And um, thank you so much for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. I always read all of your comments, so leave me a comment. Like this video. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. I have so much content on this channel, and you will get to see a mystery box unboxing at least once every Monday. Okay? So if you like this kind of stuff, definitely want to you definitely want to subscribe. And um, I have all sorts of stitch patterns and and um, regular patterns. I, I share a lot of what I work on and I even have crafts that are outside of yarn crafts on my channel so I don't want to subscribe and it's free! <laughs> subscribe, okay? <laughs> it's free! <laughs> Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching to the end. I will see you later with another video.